This is Social Confidential, where ad week social media editors take a look behind the logo to find out who's tweeting and sharing for major brands. I'm Jessica Ferris, Adweek's Director of Audience Engagement, and I'm here for a conversation about how bidet brand Tushy embraces poop culture on its social platforms. Joining me today are Tushy's founder, Mickey Agrawal, and community manager, Tyler Mead. Could you give us an overview of Tushy's social strategy and how you flush out your ideas? Thankfully, Tushy leads very much with a sense of humor. It's kind of unavoidable. We're a bidet company. We're talking about cleaning people's butts. We're talking about poop. It would be a little odd in my mind if we approach that extremely seriously or even like medicinally. It's a pretty big behavioral shift and so to do it in a way that's too academic and too clinical it is even more off-putting, but to do it with humor, using art, using creativity, using what's in the cultural zeitgeist actually makes you want to lean in and consider it in a new way. I just don't think we can get Americans on board by saying, you need this, this is important, change your life now. For question number two, how do you find cultural moments that are appropriate for Tushy to lean into on social? It's just kind of seeing a moment and seizing it and being like, we can make a joke, we can make an impact. Like, let's have fun really is the truth. People find toilet poop jokes funny in, in any situation. So we can kind of throw that into any cultural conversation it just becomes funny. Tell us about your social campaign for Halloween, the toilet of terror. Artists love redesigning a movie poster. So we played with it, the birds, and scream, purely because I saw so much opportunity in the original movie posters to just play around. And also, who hasn't had a nightmare in their bathroom? We ended up with three films, The Turds, Shit, and Cream. The last one being about Preparation H, which we renamed Preparation Horror. Probably my proudest moment was the day after Halloween waking up to a notification Preparation H commented on it, and we're like, this is so fun. We never get included in stuff like that. So let's talk about your most liked tweet. It was a response to the OnlyFans news. OnlyFans basically changed its policy to have no more explicit content on their platform, which actually was a big part of their business. It's so against your own interests to stop selling the product that got people there in the first place. And so we want to kind of respond in kind. I often describe Twitter as throwing spaghetti at a wall, and we got a really good piece of spaghetti. What is your best piece of advice for social media managers? The magic is in replying to people because it tells them, I'm interested in you specifically. It brings them to your own page, and it's just an opportunity to play. Like, we've had Lizzo reply to us, and it's because we got them with, like, a joke. We got them to laugh. If something's happening and we're really listening and we're really seeing and hearing them and then responding with something funny that's authentic, it's like, wow, it's refreshing. Let's give our team permission to be wholly themselves and just get after it. Thank you both so much for joining us on Social Confidential. I had a great time. Oh, thank you. This was so much fun. The most fun. I'm Jess Ferris. See you next time on Adweek's Social Confidential.